Hi everyone, in this latest video I am going to be talking about the iPolar which is iOptron's alternative to the Polemaster. So a few weeks ago Altair Astro sent me an iPolar because I have a HEQ5 and there's a bit of a misconception out there that um, the iPolar is actually only for iOptron mounts but it's not. Um, you can get many adapters for different mounts, such as the HEQ5. And if you go on Altair Astro's website and look for the iPolar, it tells you the adapters that you can get. And I suspect there will be a lot of 3D printed ones in future as well, for maybe different mounts. So, what's going to be in this video is a short section on me fitting it to the HEQ5. And first, well first or second time using the software. The weather has not been great to us in the UK so it's taken a long time to actually do this video but hopefully you find it useful. So, the first things we do to fit the iPolar to the HEQ5 is to take the cover off the polar scope. And then this adapter fits in here like so. So around the edge there's some grub screws to tighten it up. What I suggest you do first is to tighten them almost to the point where they're just sticking out and that'll make it easier to tighten when you have got it inside the polar scope hole. bit fiddly just do the other one as well nice and solid now. Then I'm just going to loosen off this screw. Actually what I suggest you do is not have the thumb screw at 12 o'clock as I've just found out. Let me just loosen that off. because it's rubbing against the HEQ5 case in here. Either just rotate it to one side or the other so it's completely free. Find out by the other. There we go. Nice and tight. And 
this fits into the adapter like so tightens up with a thumb screw now if I take this off again briefly there's a flat gap here um, and this is where you would put the USB port so here's the iPooler it's only really tiny I'm just going to pop it in there like so And then I must admit this cap's a bit annoying. I wish they'd done another cap. <laughs> there we go. Our polo is ready to go. Um, part two of this video will show you how to set up the software. Okay, so in this latest video, I'm going to show you how to polar align using the iPolar so you need to download the iPolar um, software from the iOptron website first and then double click then go to settings and make sure you've input your location correctly and make sure you take a dark frame I've already taken a dark frame so I'm going to leave you as is and then I'm going to click connect So once you're connected, it will start plate solving. There's a massive chunk of cloud just sat right over where Polaris should be at the moment, so I'm going to pause. Okay, so basically the cloud is moving, <laughs> and as it's moving, more stars are being detected and you can see a red dot here now that is the pole but I'm going to wait for a few more stars to appear so I think any minute now we'll be ready to carry on with the next step so I now need to establish sort of the rotational axis of my mount and to do that I need to rotate the RA axis. I'm going to rotate it a touch and I'm going to click confirm position 1 and then I'm going to rotate it some more and I'm going to click confirm position 2 and then I'm going to rotate it again confirm position 3 so that cross is where my mount is currently pointing and I need to overlay that cross on that red circle now that procedure of just rotating the mount as long as you don't take the odd polar off the mount you only have to do that once so I'm just going to put it back to sort of its home position I'm then going to just adjust the um, azimuth and the latitude bolts just to get those that cross and that circle to line up
So you can see when you get closer, it magnifies it automatically, which is really useful. And that's pretty much a perfect polar alignment. So I should be good to start imaging very soon, as long as this cloud doesn't continue. But hopefully you found this video useful, and um, any questions let me know in the comments. Okay, so final impressions on the iPolar polar alignment camera. I really really like it. It's got a smaller form factor than the Pole Master. You can see the difference in size here, it's quite considerable. I don't like that it doesn't have a proper cap like the Pole Master does, but maybe Ioptron in the next iteration of it or we'll add it at a later date, I don't know. I really really like the iPolar software, I like that it plate solves because that means if your view of the North Star is blocked by a house or something then you know as long as you've got at least four stars in your field of view and you're roughly pointing at the pole it, you will still be able to polar align. I also like that after the first time of fitting it to the mount or you know if you've removed the iPolar from the mount you only have to do that rotation once it's unlike the, the pole master which you have to rotate the mount every single time you want to polar align I do like the pole master software for being a little bit it looks a bit more polished than the, the iPolar software but maybe that will come as the software is being developed I don't know and basically it's cheaper you, it's not just for iOptra mounts, um, you can you know, go on the Altair website and basically they have a li list of adapters that you can get for the iPolar and I'm sure people will be 3D printing them in no time. So if you're fed up of everyone saying, oh go get a pole master, oh I'll use sharp cap to align, there is now another alternative, the iPolar camera by iOptron. And last but not least, I've got to show my t-shirt on video. It's probably one of the coolest t-shirts I own. It's in aid of 50 years since the moon landing and there we have the Saturn V rocket taken off. And I actually got this from hobbyastronomy.com and there's three other designs and they sell some pretty cool hoodies and mugs as well. So, as always, thanks for watching and I hope you found the video useful. Bye for now.